a new white paper, a technical document that explains a new animation system where the results were so good it had people crying foul. Like a white paper is basically how this new technology is often kind of distributed. It is a paper that is written by a bunch of scientists usually, has a bunch of people on it who have been doing the research work to put some sort of new tool out into the world. And usually, they release code along with it. You know, it's the paper and then the code so you can verify it yourself. Well, this is one of those cases, Gavin, where the white paper came out and some promotional materials demonstrating the amazing capabilities of this uh, new technology. It's called Animate Anyone, and that's what it promises to do. And you're seeing the samples on your screen right now. They are taking a single reference image of somebody. In this case, there's a girl in purple sweatpants and a black hoodie her arms are outstretched. You can't even see her hands or anything beneath the thigh in the photo. And then they apply a skeletal animation to that image and it figures out what the hands might look like, what the legs might look like, and it makes the person dance around, hike up their clothes. And so it's not just transferring the motion to the body. It's actually determining the physics of yeah. a human's hair or their clothing and it's covering up the background. It's doing a whole bunch of little AI tricks that we've seen, and it's doing them so well that there was a long series of threads on X where people were diving into the controversy and saying this can't be real. You and I were talking about this the other night, and we were both like, is this legit? We don't know. We were trying to look into it. And then everybody pointed out, well, yeah, this is cool, but there's another version that is out. It's not the same technology. There's another app called Magic Animate, which yep. works on a similar theme, but is a completely different team with a completely different tech pipeline. And it's free and yep. you can play with it now. And the code is out there. And that's exactly what I did. So tell me about this. This is really interesting. So like I got a text from Kevin late last night, which was like these weird long videos, which you'll see on your screen of in the middle it's what looks like a control net model which means it's like almost like a stick figure that you see on the left of that video is what is the original original image right it's an image and then on the right is the animated image the mix of those two is that kind of what's going on that's yeah that's exactly it yeah. so, so take a look at the folder that's labeled magic animate gavin is going through the results and he's getting ahead of me yes, but if I'm we start with number one it's just a static image of Guy Fieri. In the middle, you see Control Net, um, which was yeah. traditionally applied to static imagery. Control Net let you either get consistency of a model when rendering them from different views or let you manipulate their, their pose. So this is a CG model jogging in place. And you can see that when applied to Fieri, it actually like does a lot right. There's some stuff that's wrong. Yeah. It gives him these weird ogre hands. He's got like yeah. hammy ham hands. Um, and the face is not Guy Fieri. Like this one is not good with faces in the yeah. way that Animate Anyone is promising to be. However, it just worked and it got his his chain dangling. It does the physics of the shirt yeah. stretching and wrinkling as he's that running. That part is the most amazing thing actually when you look at it because the fact that it has the physics of the clothing, like that feels crazy. Like that is yes. like... That feels magic. But the background, actually, it steals the background. So clearly, in, in one process, it has taken all of that, minus the perfect version of his face, and transferred this into a motion video. This is actually pretty phenomenal. Yeah, so check out the next example. We'll go quickly okay. through these. It's Elon Musk on stage. And this one, you can see it, it got the, the clothing correct. For the most yeah. part, it got a blazer, a white collared shirt, but the face is decidedly not Elon. Not Elon the hands yeah. again get a little mangled. And even the actual stage itself, that got a little wonky. These are problems, by the way, which there are known solves for today. There are technologies that when bolted onto this could yeah. solve all that. So then I started to get Man, little, what is this? a little nutty with it. So I took the, <laughs> the Mexican alien baby, which hit the news recently, and I just said, I wonder if it could detect the arms and legs of the little alien in the little, surrounded by the white drapery. It's a weird yeah. photo, but if you've seen the alien autopsy stuff. And yeah, this anime, is fascinating. Magic Animate was like, okay, these are the arms and legs and the torso, and it actually got it, but then it turned it into a human being with like, it thickened the arms, legs, the midsection, <laughs> and it has it moving around. But what was, to me, most fascinating was that it understood that this alien baby was surrounded by like a cloth or a curtain. Yeah. And so when you yeah. see the human version moving around, the cloth distorts around the dancer. Yeah. Weird. That's weird, and, right? 
Also, the fact that the, I mean, what's interesting about this one is obviously it's trying to interpret the texture on the alien baby as something. And then it almost becomes like this interesting texture on the woman's both skin and clothing. But yes, that's super fascinating. Yeah. yeah and like again, the background dust. Yeah. This is all so crazy to watch in real time. Oh, no. Because no. You saw oh, my hot no. Dog City what renders. did you do here? What did well, you do? I tried to give a member of Hot Dog City, the dance crew, some Daisy Duke shorts and a crop top. Yeah. The technology saw this anthropomorphized hot dog, this cartoon, and said, okay, the model's clearly trained only on human beings. And yeah. so it turned the cartoon hot dog into... Into like a dancer type girl in some form or another. You can see how it's making its decisions... Yep. Which I thought was really interesting. And so there's two versions of that there. You can even see it works with multiple participants in a scene. So I put two hot dog city dancers next to each other and they turned into these weird hot dog brats dolls. But yeah, again, I love their hairline. The hairline on these, it's like you, you it's when you make it. Yeah. <laughs> these are Hulk Hogan's children. <laughs> this is the Hulk Hogan daughters. They're two Hulk Hogan daughters. <laughs> So it was really easy to use. And if you're hearing this or if you're watching the video going, wow, how do I play with this? I mention websites all the time that allow you to do this. You can download the code and run it locally if you've got a decent graphics card and you want to spend some time running some codes and commands. There are websites like Replicate AI or the one that I use for this demo, Hugging Face. Uh, they're not a sponsor. This is not an ad. They just make it one click easy to duplicate a space. So if you uh, search for Magic Animate over on Hugging Face, um, you'll see the app right on your screen, but you'll be sharing that app with tens of thousands of other people. So if you give it your credit card and duplicate the space, it'll be a private version for you to run. It cost me $2.70 to play with it all last night. And it's as easy as uploading a still image and selecting one of the pre-canned animations. But this is the beginning of the next wave, right? Yes, Gavin, like in yes. six to eight months, Adobe is going to have this tool within After Effects yes. where if your actor didn't point to the right thing or you want to change yeah. somebody's pose or you want to make a president punch a baby, whatever your mind will dream up in 2024, you'll likely be able to achieve with this. And that is really impressive. <laughs> 